When you love black women, you tell them what they need to hear, not what they want to hear. Welcome to my Sexist Womanist Bohemian channel. The topic is tight braids. Tight braids are real and it's also a metaphor. We do have issues in the black American community of hairstylists, primarily black hairstylists who don't show enough respect to the women who hire them. Now you have to be assertive enough to withdraw, which is part of being divested, pull back your resources, stop hiring these ladies who don't respect you or your time. Tight braids is a metaphor and it's realistic. How many of you ladies who have gotten braids and you went home and she did your hair too tight? Well, how many of you kept going back and back for more like a masochist? Me? I'm divested since the 80s. The one time I got super tight braids, I have to say it was an African lady here in San Francisco. And I told her, I knew she was African, so I know sometimes, hey, you got to keep it real. They go overboard making the braids tight, saying it has to look better, whatever. I said, please don't do my braids tight. I have a tender scalp. She said, okay, she was doing my hair, and I had her do some braids over. They were feeling too tight. And then she snuck up on me, and she made the braids too tight. I got home. My scalp was on fire. I shot her off an email saying, you disappointed me. I told you not to do it too tight. I have to take these braids out. I wish I could get my money back. I'm going to tell everybody about you. I withdrew. So I divested from that African braider. How many of you ladies have the balls to divest from a braider who doesn't respect you? How many of you ladies lack the assertiveness to cut off stylists? Who make you wait. I'm so sick of looking at these videos on social media of black women complaining. Here I am at my stylist. I'm waiting 30 minutes. She gouged up the price and they keep going back over and over and over. That's not being divested and that's being a masochist. If you can't handle your stylist, if you are paying somebody to hurt you and you are paying somebody to disrespect you, how can you vet men properly? How can you be culturally competent? Stand up for yourself and people don't want to hear you over and over complaining about your stylist. Put on your big girl panties and tell her you're not going back. Or if it's too tight, you say it's too tight, it's too tight. And she's like, hey, I have to make it tight for it to look pretty. And you say, I said it's too tight. Get up and leave stand up for yourself and that's part of divestment withdrawing yourself withdrawing your money withdrawing your resources from people who don't respect you i'm divested since the 1980s and i keep it cute across the board i treat everybody the same i don't care what race and gender they are i divest from any dehumanizer and someone giving you tight braids is a dehumanizer, and if you don't stand up for yourself, you are a masochist. Thanks so much for listening. Looking forward to reading your comments below. Pink Chill Divest.